Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm super excited to share with you my journey with my 2021 Subaru Crosstrek Limited. I call it Alaska because it's built to take me on all my adventures from snowboarding trips to Blue Mountain in Pennsylvania and Stratton Mountain in Vermont to surfing at Far Rockaway Beach 67 and exploring Minnewaska State Park and other amazing places. From the day I brought it home to the latest upgrades, let's dive into the story of how this car has transformed. I purchased this beauty on June 30th, 2023. It had under 11K miles, practically brand new. With its 182 HP 2.5 liter engine and continuously variable transmission, this Crosstrek has been an absolute joy to drive. And let's not forget its impressive fuel economy. 27 mpg in the city, 34 mpg on the highway, and 29 mpg combined. The cool grey khaki color really caught my eye. It's unique and stands out on the road. Inside, Subaru sticks to its reputation with a functional and durable interior. The black interior is simple yet effective, offering everything I need right at my fingertips. Subaru's Starlink infotainment system is a breeze to use. The limited model comes with an 8.0 inch touchscreen, offering Sirius SIM satellite radio and optional navigation. It's organized, intuitive, and packed with connectivity features like Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Now, let's talk about the fun part, the upgrades. I've done quite a bit to make this cross trick truly mine. With the exception of the wheels, tires, and lift kit, I worked on every other upgrade myself. Let's dive into the details. First up, I added in channel rain guards on July 31st, 2023. They're perfect for those rainy days, allowing me to keep the windows slightly open without getting soaked. On August 12th, 2023, I set out on a mini road trip to Pottstown, Pennsylvania to purchase a used nameless exhaust system from a Facebook seller. We agreed to meet at the Parker Ford Church. After checking out the exhaust and sealing the deal, I headed back to New York. The same day, I took my Crosstrek to Jerome Abe in the Bronx to Redline Collision Pros for the installation. Peace everybody, I hope everybody's having a great day. It is Sunday morning. I'm here at Jerome Avenue. Jerome in the Bronx. If you ever want to get something done to your car, you gotta come to Jerome, they have everything. And today, my Alaska is gonna get something beautiful. This is the way it sounds right now. And what's gonna get is this beautiful muffler that I got of Facebook Market. I got that on Facebook Market, and it's one of the uh, what's the name of the place? Uh, shit, I can't remember the name of the brand, but it's a tap brand. I'll post it on the uh, on the comments. But watch when it's done. The installation. The team that did an amazing job, and watching them work was quite the experience. The result. A deeper, throatier exhaust note that makes every drive a bit more exhilarating. Huge shout out to the guys at Redline for their top-notch work. And it is done. We are bringing Alaska down and let's see how this beautiful integration sound right now.
Oigan esto, oigan. Ay, qué chulo, qué chévere. For a snowboarder, surfer, runner, and adventurer enthusiast, I needed a solid solution for hauling my gear. On the same day as the exhaust install, I picked up some crossbars and a used fuel sub rack. Installing these was a breeze compared to the exhaust, and I had a blast doing it. Now I can hit the slopes with ease. There's nothing like loading up the cross track with my board and heading out for a day of shredding. Plus, it gives the car that rugged, ready for anything look. Decals are the perfect way to add some personality to your ride. I went a little wild with this one. From mountain graphics to hood lines, scar funny eyes, and a compass decal, each one tells a part of my story. Applying them was like arts and crafts day, except with a lot more vinyl and way more excitement. Now, every time I look at my cross track, I see a reflection of my adventures and a bit of my quirky side. One of my favorite customizations is the mesh grill I installed on September 26, 2023. I had to uninstall the factory grill, cut the inner factory plastic mesh, and install the new carbon fiber mesh. Using zip ties and glue, I was able to complete the work in two days. It was a tedious task, but the result was worth it. On November 6, 2024, I added the Batman emblem. Afterward, I decided to paint both the grill and the Batman emblem with black matte to tone down the shining look and give it a more stealthy appearance. Because why not? Now, every time I walk up to my car, I get a little thrill from the Batman emblem grinning back at me. safety were next on my list. On July 13, 2024, I took on the project of installing Indy Light LED pods and Hella horns. Installing the fog lights was a bit challenging. I wanted to do a good job and ensure cable management was a priority. The setup was straightforward but difficult. The Indy Light bar wiring came with a relay that I mounted near the engine bay near the battery. It had a fuse terminal that connected to the positive side of the battery and a negative ground terminal which I connected to the chassis. The harness that supplies the power to both lights is about 4 feet apart, which was perfect, so I ran the harness through the hood to ensure cable management was done properly. The light brackets bolt right into the hood hinge and the lights peek out right at the top. The most challenging part was running the in-cabin light switch, which required fishing the switch harness through the firewall. I used the flathead screwdriver to poke a hole through the firewall and once the screwdriver reached the other end, I used electrical tape to attach the harness to the screwdriver and pull it back into the cabin while being very careful not to damage any of the wiring harnesses around this area. A quick shout out to my brother-in-law for convincing me I could actually fish the switch harness through the firewall. Man, I couldn't have done it without your confidence boost. For the Hella horns, both horns share the same power wire and ground. On the passenger side, I connected the ground to the impact bar. On the driver's side, I configured the power supply wire, ensuring it was long enough to connect to the relay. The relay has four pin connections labeled with numbers. This was an intense but rewarding project, ensuring my cross track is both seen and heard. On July 15, 2024, it was time for a major upgrade. New wheels, tires, and a lift kit. I took my cross track to Reiko 2 World of Spoilers, one of the most prestigious stores on Route 46, for the wheels and tires installation. They 
set me up with 17 inch fuel d 634 zephyr wheels and falcon wild peak attires with the following dimensions 235 65 17. the lift kit installation was done at hackensack auto spring and wheel alignment the lift kit was installed first since the suspensions needed to be removed to fit the two inches lift plates once the lift was in place the new wheels and tires went on giving my Crosstrek a more aggressive stance and improved off-road capability. Now I'm ready to tackle any terrain with confidence. To complete the rugged look, I added Grim Speed Track style fender flares on July 16, 2024. Installing these myself was a mix of patience and precision. There were a few whoops that's not quite right moments, but I got there in the end. These flares not only look fantastic, giving the Crosstrek a tougher appearance, but they also protect the body from mud and rocks. It's the perfect blend of form and function. There you have it, my 2021 Subaru Crosstrek Limited, customized and ready for any adventure. From practical upgrades to personal touches, this car has become more than just a mode of transportation. Thanks for joining me on this journey. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next one. Let's party. I need more